How many layers is this? Eight layers. Hello, my name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. I'm happy to show you a new library I've just released. This is Cutting Edge Synthbase. And so it has Synthbase patches from true, legit FM synthesis to TB303, analog synthesizers like my Moog Voyager over here or the Behringer Monopoly over here. And here's the Moog Mother 32. I sampled it a little bit for the library. There's samples from Razor, some patches that I've done for my libraries for Razor. Serum, in fact, a lot of the Serum patches you will find inside of the Korg Wave State. I licensed those samples to Korg and they've used those in the Wave State and some other places as well. So all sorts of cool stuff in this library for you to play with. 176 patches, over one and a half gigabytes. It's available at my website, pluginguru.com. You only need Unify for it to work. So it's really, really fun. I'm gonna show you the library. I showed you at the beginning, you saw a couple of snippets. Those are the BPM groove patches. There is a dubstep drum kit. It has drums as well as all of these bass sounds, but the patches themselves focus almost exclusively on bass. So we'll start at the top. There's some really cool. Right, some kind of cool. stuff like that. Solid basses. I've been programming solid basses since the 80s and 90s for Korg synthesizers, so I love solid dark basses. The most used bass in music <laughs> is a solid dark bass. It just sits there and supports you. So there's lots of those. These are combining things like the razor samples with sub basses. When you get down here, see how this says FM? Those are all the DX patches. Moog, those are the mini Moog samples. Razor, those are the razor samples. S is Serum, TB, TB303. Then you get to the BPM patches and stuff like that. So the FM, what's cool with these, is this truly using a DX7? So you can modify these. They're not samples, so they play so much better than you would be from sample libraries of these types of sounds. And I've modified most of these bass patches. I start with one of the bass patches from one of the internet billions of <laughs> DX7 patches and then modify it to my taste and my liking. So there is originality in some of these patches. Um, all sorts of cool sounds that you'll hear from Okay, LS, these are serum patches that have the long short assigned to a knob. So you can go from the long sample. Because you need that kind of stuff sometimes. So I thought, hey, why not? So that kind of big deep just <laughs> there's a lot of music uses stinky basses so we got all 
all that kind of stuff. Uh, Moog. Lots of patches from my Moog. From both the Voyager as well as the Mother 32. Alright, so I have also the raw waveforms from both my Moog Mother 32. As well as my Moog Voyager, which is... Right over here, it's black ash with green glowing. Nice attitude, great. Here's a cool patch. Very, very nice. Uh, the Monopoly from Behringer. Note-off experiments are fun. Uh, we use trigger box to set it up so that the notes will play when you play a note off. Just because we can. Experiments number three is using a razor bass for the tail. Um, and then here we go with other razor patches right after that. Love razor. Always loved razor. Great, great vibe. Stuff like that. Cool, cool. It's all in the attack. And the harmonics and everything, everything else. In okay, sub basses. Gotta love a couple sub basses. Sub random. Every time you play a note, it's randomly choosing from the eight different sub bases. Uh, S, these are all the serum samples. And just so you know, this is not just one sample of serum. I sampled multiple notes of both C's and G's. These samples also exist in the Korg wave state. Korg licensed these from me, so. There's a sub os to turn up if you want, or short ones, slutchy ones. Page two is distortion, so. So you can do that to any bass patch you want. Gotta have some of that, man. Yes, I'm 58, but I still love nasty, glitchy basses. I could be 18 and I'd still love them, so. And 
And then these become really handy, as you'll see later in the BPM bases, because we can switch layers. And so we can get all sorts of cool, you know, a lot of the bass music is from going one bass sound to another bass sound. And we can do that automatically with automation inside of Unify. So stay tuned. You'll hear some more of those in a minute. Um, TB303. And velocity switching. all the glides and all the fun stuff. In fact, if you go up to MIDI box and turn it on and open up MIDI box and hit the plus button, you can cycle through all sorts of MIDI files that we've created. the knobs page one get some delay get the reverb every now and then degrade it a little bit fun stuff fun stuff it's all there to play with now bass effects these are kind of rude If you like that kind of music, you know how to use those kind of sounds. You know, you need those types of things, sub falls. Make cool disco toms too. Now these 8-bit start shifters have the bass sample start changing. You open up this Unify layer, it's doing a fun dance. And notice a CC Writer talking to a Unify layer. That's how you set up CC Writer to do its magic. Right? In fact, if you want, you can go over here and look at the curvature of this. Go to the parameter page and... This is sample start, so from beginning, you can change that. You can modify all sorts of stuff in the patches. It's really, really, really fun. Okay, now we get to the bigger BPM bass patches. Some of these have a BPM groove. Again, I mentioned you have a dubstep. So if we call up Dark Lab Noah Orbit, this is what it's like without the drum groove. Go down here to the BPM groove. Call it up and now. Uh, so cool. So there's all sorts of BPM examples of switching layers and doing all sorts of fun things here. TB303 stuff. Stuff like that. I love Rezo Square. Now this became a patch down here in the groove called Squiggly Lines. So happy fun stuff. Um, there's drum grooves. different patterns. In fact, there's one right here. Where's it at? The 10 pattern stack has the patterns, all of them on this knob. So if you go like this and then you go over here to the bases, and you choose something like um, variable latitude. All 
sorts of fun stuff to play with. So uh, drum grooves and bass grooves work well together. So we have, as you can see, all sorts of... Okay, so that's the library, 176 patches. Again, in a summary, FM TB303, Serum, <laughs> Moog, Behringer, uh, Razor, all in one library, sub, bass patches, all sorts of stuff, all in one bass library. So if you need basses, this is a fun place to go and play. So thank you for your support. Enjoy the library. There will be more cutting edge libraries coming in the future. So this is a series. So we'll have rhythmic ones and synth ones and all sorts of stuff. All right. Thanks. See you later. See you in the next video. Yeah.